Well, hello, and welcome to Guitar Paradiso. I am Mick. And I am Pete, and I am very hot. It's hot. It is very, very hot. We've had a day of rocking, hot rocking. A hot rocking. <laughs> it's like the sweat is going into your eyes. Yeah. And you know when you get that thing going, and you're like, oh, I need a nice glass of cold milk. Mm -hmm. You see what I did there? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm really hoping the milkman is going to turn up and uh, knock on the door and say, boom, boom. I've just delivered your milk. And he has. And he has. Okay, Milkman Amplifiers. Um, the first thing you probably know about Milkman Amplifiers is John Mayer used them. He did? Or was attached to them in some way. Yeah. Um, and then I guess we need to fill in the rest. So Milkman Amplifiers is run by a guy called Tim Marcus. And Tim Marcus is currently as close to a one-man operation as it's possible to get uh, for an amp company. So they're all hand-built. Yeah. Very carefully in San Francisco, California. Yeah. By Tim, yeah, uh, and he does things like source the best stuff he can find in terms of American-made transformers, speakers, just every, everything. Anything he can source in America, he yeah. does. Anything he can't, he gets offshore. But he tries to get the best stuff he can, and they're all built by hand by Tim up there in San Francisco. And the reason they're called Milkman, Pete, it's a great story, isn't it? Because his family used to be was Milkman. All in the milk industry. All in the milk. I think industry. you said four generations or yeah. something. Yeah. So, Which um, is incredible. That's such a great name for an amp, isn't that really? So there are milky themes. <laughs> it's, it's milky themes uh, throughout. Hence, yeah. amps are called <laughs> things like the pint, the half pint, yeah, the creamer, the yeah. dairy, uh, yeah, yeah, and so on. And it's it's wonderful, isn't it? So on and so forth. I, yeah. got, I have some notes that I've written down here, which I uh, need to just refer to. Yeah. Okay. I think we've probably set that up as much as we need to. Very high quality. Uh, Turret board construction. Yep. Um, if you look inside one, it's like super clean. It's the yeah. kind of thing when amp builders look inside amps, they go, oh, that's nice. Yeah, oh, that's nice. There's nothing Ooh, in there. Nice. It's just lovely. I picked the, uh, the derriere up and uh, it's, it weighs nothing. And I looked inside and it's just so cleanly done and perfectly, mm. you know, everything set up really nicely, you know. And, and th they look really good. So these ones we have here are the, are the cream color. Yeah, and they vanilla. also vanilla exactly. Yeah, sorry, vanilla because yeah. we're carrying on that theme. Yeah, and then there's the chocolate. Yeah, and uh, so vanilla is obviously like a cream, like what you might consider a. Um, after Fender came out of tweed, they went to a cream kind of lacquer, a uh, cream kind of vinyl. Yeah, Tolex. That's the word I'm looking for. Tolex. <laughs> it is late in the day. <laughs> it is. And then following that, there was a darker brown color, mm -hmm. uh, 63ish, and um, that's the chocolate. Yeah. However, so they look a bit like old Fender amps. Yeah. But according to Tim, um, none of them are clones. They're very much based on his idea of what a good guitar sound is. Because he's a player and he plays player. guitar and he plays a steel. He's a player. He's a player, man. He's a player. But you should check out some of the videos on his website, and we'll put the links below where he's talking about the history and he's playing a bit and it's, it's great. You're a good player. Yeah. One of the reasons um, I've chosen this very battered old <laughs> Dan Electro of Pete's is My that. <laughs> I just, I, watching Tim's videos, I get the feeling that he's just, you know, 
he likes things just a little quirky and a little different yeah. and a little kind of offbeat maybe yeah. and you can tell that in the kind of guitars he, he chooses and the way he explains his amps so I thought we'd give this a go before we play some definitely other stuff. that kind of guy who said I, 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 I need to make an amp for myself because I'm not happy with or you know I, you, like I'm sometimes I want, I'm, I want to pedal it sound in a certain way I'm not really happy with anything I want to make my own one because I haven't done yet but you know what I mean yeah, yeah. and so and then you finally make that thing. You go, this is just this is just how it should be. Yeah. You know. And then of course it's so good that people like it and people pick it up. And now they are in Andersons to try out. And we've got a few and they can come and. Yeah, I mean, bearing in mind he builds them all himself, it's not like. It's not uh, you know. So it takes a while. So when when you know he we I don't know Lee's ordered you know a couple and it takes a long time because he has to build them all himself, mm. which is for me that's just. It's pretty cool. That's really, pretty cool. It's not pretty cool. It's really cool. <laughs> Really cool. So the range <laughs> starts uh, right down at one watt, and then yeah. it goes to five watt. There's a ten watt, but we're yeah. going to pick up at twenty watts. Yeah. And what was probably the kind of core of the range, the creamer, which is twenty watts, yeah. six V six or six L six. So you can have between eighteen and twenty two watts, depending on what power tubes you use, and it's cathode biased. So it's class A B cathode biased, which yeah. is pretty cool. And that's this one. Yeah. And Pete? It's the derriere, which is 30 watts or 40 watts. So it's got 6 L6 six and 6 V6. It's got a switch in the back there, so you can... Yeah, you, you, you would have to change them. You'd have to change the valves. Yeah, so when, yeah. when you put when you put uh, the, the 6 V6s in, it's 20 like watts, that. like that. You have to do it like you that. You have to like that. You can't do that or no. this or whatever. And yeah. then you take them out. You a bit put like milking. Hey! <laughs> you put them in like you milk. You put 6 L6s in, and you've got 40 watts, watt class AB. Yeah, so and this one's... Um, Tim really likes headroom. Uh, even if he's talking about a one more amp, he likes the thing to be very dynamic to how you uh, play the guitar. So really, his amps are about headroom. Yeah. And of course, once you get up to 30 or 40 watts, you're talking about serious kind of headroom and volume. Now. Yeah, now you mentioned that, because I've seen he also do, uh, also does, do, does? Uh, I'm Danish, so it doesn't really matter. I could say what I want. Uh, so he does the, does some half and half. Yeah. Which is kind of a uh, D what? class. Class uh, D and, and stuff he mixes up. Yeah, uh, digital power. So yeah. exactly. So it's kind of eight hundred watts within a little kind of thing, you know. He's so oh, that's eight hundred or three hundred. I think there's an eight hundred and a three hundred. <laughs> check out on his website. Yeah, check out the links below. But it, there's a lot as well. And he's he. I like when people sort of experiment with things and, and mix stuff up. You know, half and half, of course. Of course. Yeah. So okay, <laughs> should we begin here, Pierre? Let's do it. So you've got yes. What you heard in the intro there was. Um, the amp's own internal uh, tremolo and reverb. But if we leave that off for the second. Yeah. So what you get is. I'm going to change this guitar. Yeah. Because that is that is an it's old. Unfamiliar and the strings are knackered. <laughs> and the accent is really high, set it up for like slide and stuff. But it did sound good on the intro. Yeah. Um, and it's we'll a great old guitar though. Pick up a guitar that's um, more familiar. My goodness, it's so warm in here. So it's got a bit of that nice. kind of fairly bright, pushy as you'd expect from the way it looks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and that's at about four on the volume control. So yeah. it's quite a bit, of, I mean, that's, if you start sticking that's to- That's loud. Yeah, I've got a pedal on the floor here, which yeah, I do. But that's loud. And just briefly, I don't know if we're gonna push our level meters here. But keep an eye on it and see if- uh, But if it- um, That's loud. So it's, it's that would be loud enough. It's very much like a kind of vintagey kind of breakup deal. Yeah. Um, not kind of smooth or compressed or what you would associate with a more modern gain sound. It's very vintagey, very kind of. Yeah, I like yeah. it. I mean, I think more kind of supero end of things than I do Fender when I, when I hear that. Yeah, I think you're right, yeah. Bit funky, bit kind of alt maybe. Yeah. And on top of that, we've got reverb, and there is so much reverb in this amp. Cool little pedal there as well, which we'll do a, a down on ground here. Let's just do a quick swoop up on that. Very nice, very yeah, nice yeah, foot switch. Yeah. So, um, comes with this uh, cool cable as well. You've been hearing it with reverb off. That's on three. That's set pretty low on the reverb, right? <laughs> Uh, 
That's on three acres of reverb. Uh, turn it down a bit. And then lovely. You would never do this. You never do that. Full, just put it on full. Put it on full. I can't quite work out Ten. why there's this much reverb, but. Maybe Tim can uh, comment and let us know why. Huge amount of yeah. reverb. It's great though, because you, you never know, you might want to do some nice swells with your pedal, maybe use it as a steel, you know, because yeah. he, he does make the... Um, oh yeah, he makes sounds for steel as well. Yeah, pedal so steel, plays pedal, steel. pedal steel, and he plays beautifully uh, pedal steel. So that, you know, that kind of, you need that kind of... Got to be, got to yeah. be the hardest instrument in the world, doesn't it? Pedal steel. The ones with the three on them. Have yeah. you seen those? And you, you like that? And you like eight hundred strings and stuff. It's, it's, uh, it's. I've tried. It's, uh, it's not simple. So valve-driven reverb and valve-driven tremolo. And Mick likes his. That's the Nobles ODR one there, which is a Nashville pedal, isn't it? Yeah, just just kicking the front of so. the amp there a little bit with the uh, Nobles drive about kind of tenor put. So yeah, lovely. Nothing wrong with that at all. It's a beautiful amp. It's just a very simple, vintage inspired, but not massively Fendery. No, it's it's not it's not that Fendery, is it? You know, it's kind. Of, I mean, it's Fendery. It's got its own thing going on, which I like. There's definitely an extended bottom end there. Yeah. So it's not like all tight like like you would expect of a Marshall. But that might be the speakers because it's a Jupiter speaker, isn't it? Which yeah. is a handmade American speaker. And you can choose an Alnico or a ceramic magnet speaker. That's the ceramic magnet one. I think yeah. I need to check. We will check that in the in the back. Yes, but you know, there's not much more to say really. It's just a very sweet sounding. Yeah, and it's not it's not like you've got effects loop or you've got you know it's not like you've got any of of, of all that stuff. It's just pure simpleness. Lovely tones. Yes, they've both got the um, Alnico magnet Jupiter okay. speaker, yep. and that one. There yeah. Looks a lot like plant pine. That. Oh, uh, what well, the, the cab? Yeah, oh, yeah. All right, yeah. yeah. Pine is good. Yeah. Anyway, that that uh, leads us on swiftly to uh, to the amp that I'm plugged into, which is the Dairy Air. And we're running six L6s at the moment. Yeah, so a lot more headroom. Yeah, so a lot more headroom. It's a 30 watt. It looks really cool. I like the little uh, logo with the little uh, globe and sort of the <laughs> plane. You know, I like it. Just it just it looks right. You know, the little orange lights and um, so there's no reverb in this. No, it's, what? it's simple, just like me. Well, the reason that the, the <laughs> um, one of the reasons the plane is on there. Yeah. It's because he's kept the chassis as small as possible by not putting tremolo and reverb in there. He's kept it as small as possible so you can take it with you. Exactly. And have plenty of power. Exactly. And it and it's it is really really light. It is. I was I was really surprised. Anyway, so uh, the clean tones with nothing on. I've got on the floor. I've got a, funny enough, a T Rex Creamer reverb. Ah. 
So I thought it'll go well with the uh, derriere in the theme. And then I've got uh, uh, the king, Grizzle King, <laughs> and I've got some T-Rex going on today, haven't I? Yes. Grizzle King. Um, okay, so nothing on like this. So, sorry, I just kicked the cream in at the end there. It's but just a sweet, sweet, sweet clean sound. What are we doing there? A little bit of... Uh, roll the bass off a little bit and put a little bit of more uh, treble in it. And, it's basically uh, everything straight up, isn't it? Yeah. More or less. Let's put everything straight up. Yeah. 12 o'clock. I just put the cream in as well, give it a little bit of reverb there. On the neck pickup. Yeah, I've turned the reverb. <laughs> tell you what's interesting about that is because it's such a lovely sound it's a really lovely sound yeah it's you're playing with with a lot of dynamics there I'm not picking it very hard and instead of banging the amp you're like kind of hearing everything that's coming through all the overtones and all all the yeah and it's really because that Pete's um, strap does have a really lovely sparkly top end there is something with it isn't it and that's coming through perfectly very nice I'll just I'll just do this call. Very expressive. Could you just do it? Could you do a little bit more of that without the, the reverb? Maybe with some well, yeah, just just so we can hear, hear the amp. Maybe. Okay, yeah, we can. It's just <laughs> dry, 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 dry. It's just very, very dry. I think we could we could safely say um, pedals, 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 pedals. I'll put a little bit. I'll put some uh, delay on here. Uh, It is nice. Lovely. Play the song. I didn't play the song. I didn't play the song. Humbuckers? Humbuckers! Humbuckers! Here we go. Excuse me. Again, I'm playing my own guitars today. Three out of four in this room is my guitar set at the moment. What's happening? Need much more. Um
So clearly, really opens. It really responds to the guitar. Those guitars sounded so different. Completely different. Yeah, it was like plugging into a different amp, really, wasn't it? <clears throat> yeah. So all I did was I knocked the mids back a little bit and pushed, yeah. pushed the treble a little bit just to. Um, so this gets much more, much more bluesy, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> It compresses in a really nice way, doesn't it? And de dare we say, if you knock dairy the... Dairy air, we say. Dairy air, dairy air, we say. If you knock the reverb off... Completely. Yeah. Yeah. And um, do do a bit of that. And Just on the back? It's a bit jazzy. Yeah, but that's that, that one, isn't it? Very uh, punchy and responsive. Yeah, I think that's the point. Lots of headroom, lots of um, lots of response in that way. Yeah, I was going to. Um, lovely. In fact, should we swap leads or should I just change the inputs? Do you think? Let's I'll swap leads. Uh, okay, yeah, let's just. Uh, let's in which case, let's hear. What, let's just do that. Excuse me, mommy. <laughs> I just do the same thing again. Just like, kind of hear it through.
myself. Sorry. <laughs> well, that was fun. It was fun. That was rarely fun. happens. Yeah, yeah, it? yeah. It's yeah. like all of a sudden we just break into song and dance and uh, all sorts of stuff. Song and dance. So what you were hearing there was um, Pete was plugged into the creamer. And I was plugged into the derriere, and yeah. I was using a T Rex Gristle King. A Grizzle King, a replica, and a T Rex Creamer. Okay. Or T Rex. And Pete was using a Noble's ODR1 and an MXR carbon. Copy. And Copy. the reverb from the Milkman. Yes, and the tremolo in the reverb. And the tremolo as well. It was all weird. It, all it was going all on. on. It was all going. It just happened at that time. You well, know, that was it was nice. a little bit like that. Both, both like amps were into, you know, into working territory. I yeah, thought. that's good. Absolutely. So, well, they are. In stock at Anderton's, you should come and check them out because they are great, 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 great little lamps. Mm. And you know, if you want a little lamp that sounds really good, got some something that is not the same as other lamps, you made know, made by one bloke, made by the same guy. Yeah, made uh, by I one man. I really take my hats off yeah. to Tim. Yeah. I must say, respect, man. That, that's you know, get them sent all the way over here and make them. You know, but let's all the ten of them. You know, we must go. Oh no, you know, there must be. It's that, that's I couldn't imagine starting I struggle when to start <laughs> making myself a cup of tea in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to do this. Mm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Kettle so, on. so, yeah. So, yeah. well done. Go go to his website and uh, and check out and also his YouTube channel and, and have a look at it when he's talking about the story of um, mm. of everything. So, thank you very much for letting us play these. Indeed, yeah. it's uh, ten past five, Pete. Yeah, uh, and enough that, talk about milk and that <laughs> what's over there. Uh, doesn't work so just so if you haven't it's very hot it's really. a summer's day we've just been talking about milk for like the last yeah it makes me want a cup of coffee actually it makes me want a cup of beer <laughs> is it beer o'clock is it yeah I think it I is. think it's beer o'clock it's late somewhere <laughs> somebody's birthday yeah and uh, yes I think it's time guys thank you very much for watching this episode of uh, Guitar Paradiso uh, we were playing the Milkman amps go and check them out links below uh, my name is Pete my name is Mick and we will see you next time <laughs>